Welcome to the ancient city of Preveza, which was founded in the third century BCE. This town, which is strategically located on a bay, has been ground zero of many wars throughout history, including Augustus Caesar, the Roman emperor's defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra. And the battle for sovereignty continued throughout history, even including Napoleon himself. Here's more in this next report. The sights and charm of the port city of Preveza comes right out of a storybook. Or actually, even a fairy tale. Preveza uh, offers all the advantages of an island without any of the drawbacks. We have a magnificent uh, coastline with uh, the longest uh, sandy beach uh, in Europe. Imagine that 300 out of 400 uh, species of birds in Europe live right here in the Abrasian Gulf. With a thriving nightlife and an extremely tight-knit family community, Preveza is all about staying in high spirits. Our history starts from 1949, immediately after the Second World War. Of course, Uzo created here almost one century before this time. So our uh, facility, our uh, device of creating Uzo is considered as one of the oldest in Greece. Deputy Mayor Leonidas Argyros gave myself and a group of Israeli journalists a trip down memory lane of Preveza. Here in 31 BC, it took place the naval battle of Actium, which changed the route of history. When there was Antony and Cleopatra, the great love uh, from, one, uh, from the one side, and uh, Octavian, the nephew of uh, Julius Caesar on the other side. The battle took place right here. They, they had no, nowhere else uh, to go because it was the only safe place uh, for their ships uh, to be. Really, they were trapped by Agrippa, the great uh, genius, because he took the, the northern part of uh, Preveza and he made them stay in the southern part where there were swamps and uh, there were cases of uh, malaria. And afterwards, the two lovers committed suicide together. Antony and Cleopatra lost, and so here Preveza marks the end of the Res Publica, of the Roman Republic, the beginning of the Roman Imperium, and also marks the end of the, the Hellenistic period. But the historic significance of Preveza continued throughout history because of its strategic location for trade and also for protection. This Venetian tower in the city center marks the time that Preveza was part of the Venetian Republic. Napoleon made the mistake of uh, leaving here a small guard. That guard had um, as opponent on the other side Ali Pasa. In the 18th century, Napoleon conquered Preveza and dissolved the Venetian Republic. But when he started focusing on the Ottoman Empire, he lost his way and his foothold. The French guard that was left here in Preveza was slaughtered uh, by the Turks. There is uh, the tale of the, the little drummer who kept on uh, uh, playing his drums until he was uh, cut down by uh, a Turk. And uh, it is so famous that they have uh, put this image in um, pastry and in uh, chocolate boxes. The Jewish history of Preveza also runs deep, with centuries of Jews and Greeks working, living, and socializing together, until the Nazis came to Greece and sent tens of thousands of Greek Jews to Auschwitz. Older uh, citizens of Preveza still remember with great sadness the day of the 24th of uh, March when uh, the German uh, troops 
gathered uh, nearly everybody of uh, the Jewish community and uh, they put them to Auschwitz. And now, because we feel that it should be done and uh, it was long overdue, we are erecting a monument for the Holocaust of the Jewish community in Preveza. But in the coming months, we are going to, to have it here as um, our duty to the, the Jewish community of uh, Preveza. Mm -hmm.